just finished filming this makeup look. If you would like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Hello everybody. So I'm back with another makeup tutorial. And for today's look, it was just a green coppery eye with an ombre lip. First, I'm just moisturizing my face with a simple sensitive skin expert lotion. I will link it down below. Next, just using my scotch tape and just taping up to the corner of my eyes so we can be as messy as we want. Make sure they're even, of course. Now, I just use any nude eyeshadow and this is just going to be our transition shade. So you can use any nude eyeshadow that you have. It really does not matter which one. And then just blend that into your crease. Going in with our Wild and Free BH Cosmetics Baked Eyeshadow Palette. We're using that coppery shade down at the bottom left. And we're going to start putting that into our crease and slightly a V-shape at the end as well. And just make sure to keep blending. Now here I did mix it with the copper shade in the very center of the palette just to darken it up. Next, going in with our Kat Von D Monarch palette, we are going to take the dark, dark brown shade at the last one before the black. And we're just going to even deepen it up a little bit more. And it does look very sloppy when you look at the lids now, but don't worry, it all comes together. When you're doing it, you're going to want to make sure you tape your tape tighter on. I messed up on this eye over here, so started losing its stickiness. So just keep blending and increasing the color to make it a little bit more deep. And just blend your life away. Make sure they're even again. Going in with this eyeshadow brush, which had no name, I grabbed the white color, highlight color out of the Kat Von D palette and I'm just putting it all over the lid just to prep it for our green that we'll be putting there. Going back in with the palette from BH Cosmetics, we're going to mix these two greens right here. And just pat that on your lid. And these are baked eyeshadow palettes, which means you can get them wet and they will become on more pigmented, which is what I end up doing later on. You'll see I ended up getting the brush wet and then going into the shadows just because it wasn't as pigmented as I would like. You can already tell the difference with the water being on the brush. Next, just go in with that brush you used for the brown and blend a little bit. Wipe away any fallout. So we're going to start off with our face and that is my Maybelline concealer. I will list the shade down below for you. 
cover up all these breakouts that I've got going on. And we do go back to the eyes later, they're not finished yet, I just like to get to see what my face is. And this right here is my Revlon Nearly Naked. Um, I, this is in the shade 180 Medium Beige. Going in with a Stila brush, we're just going to drag that down towards the growth of the hair. Down the neck, of course. I wouldn't say this is my exact color, but it ends up working out fine. Next, I'm just grabbing my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm going to pat that in. Just added a little bit more product right where you could see my redness coming through. Going back in with that same concealer, now we're going to highlight with it. So I go under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my forehead, as well as a little dot of my chin. So now grabbing that sponge again, we're just going to do the same thing, just do it in patty motions, like bouncing. in with my Marc Jacobs. I believe it is the Mirage Filter 40 palette. I'm just using that light shade just to set my under eyes. Using this big fluffy brush, I believe it's from the True Barrymore collection. I'm just using my Body Shop um, Compact Powder in 03, just to use it all over my face and set everywhere that I didn't highlight. I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder in it's loose powder in the shade Banana. I'm just putting that under my eyes. And now to contour, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the medium to tan. And I just use the top row one, the far right. It's a nice grayish tone, so it doesn't turn out orange on you at all. sip of water because water is life. Oh, there's me showing you that color. <laughs> now I'm contouring my nose with it. So if you would like to see a whole contour the nose or just an entire contour video, just let me know below. a little under the lip just to make a little shadow more of a pout lip and then right in be not in between the cupid's bow but the outer lines of them not where you would put the highlight then adding that banana powder again we're just going to bake thy face just to clean up the contour and just make it look perfect all
Next, we are going in with our eyebrows. Now, for my brows, I tried something different today. I don't know if I showed you right here. No, I didn't. Um, it is a Jordana lip pencil, and I believe it is in the shade taupe. I will leave that down below, but it actually works perfect on my brows. Trying to see if they're even, even though we know they are sisters, not twin sisters. Or cousins and not sisters, something like that. Next, I am grabbing the highlight from my Kat Von D Monarch palette. It's the very center shade. And I'm just putting that under my brow bone and in the corner of my eyes, the inner corner. I believe I put some on my Cupid's bow as well. So that definitely will brighten up the eye look for sure. Next, going in with an e.l.f. powder brush, I am just going to wipe away the baking and take away all that banana powder. Right away, it just gives me an instant brightening look. It makes my face look flawless. Or it's just my head because I just baked it for five minutes. Next, sort of blend in my nose contour. Dance with our highlighting brush because we're excited to highlight. So went in first with my Marabella highlighter. It's the Brilliant Mineral Highlighting. I do go over it again and I use that center shade in the Kat Von D Monarch palette again. It is the highlight shade in the top three. It is the center one and it is life changing. You will see the difference. Oh, yes. Love it. Then going with my e.l.f. blush, and that is in the shade. Oh, it's just the shade blush, it looks like. Just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm giving you a little wink. Next, going in with that palette again, we are getting the green with a little bit more water on the brush and we are going to fix up the eyes. Also taking that bronze color that we have already used on the top, we're going to put that on the lower lash line. Right about to the center-ish. And then that highlight from the Kat Von D palette is going to go on the lash line as well into the inner corner. We just want to balance it out because we have so much going up on the eyes. Next I'm just going to bake a little bit, it's not baking as much, putting some setting powder from the Marc Jacobs palette. just the sides of my nose just to clean that up a little bit. Next, going in with our lips, I'm using my Jordana Cosmetics in 37 Carberet. Just going to line the lips. And then just go not all the way in with the lips, just give a little bit of space in the center. We're going to do a little bit of an ombre lip today. So just fill everywhere else except the center on the top and bottom. Next, going in with my Wet n Wild, it is in the shade What's Up Doc. We're going to go all over the lip. Clean up any mistakes with the concealer.
Next, we're going to prep our eyelashes for some lashes. I used falsies today. And this is my CoverGirl Lash Blast in the shade. And let me tell you. How do I not know? It's in the shade very black. Yes, that is it. And then I took some of that Marabella highlighter and I put it in the center of the lips where we put, where we left it blank and it just made the ombre pop even more. Here I'm going in with the lashes and they are just the brand Kiss that you get at the drugstore in the number 03. They're very, very subtle lashes, something you could wear every day. This is me struggling to get this lash on. Now I'm just doing my bottom lashes. I always do my bottom lashes, but if you don't do your bottom lashes, then you can totally skip this step. We're not going to put it on the lashes just yet. They're just wipe away any more fallout, dry them lashes, and then you are good to go. Put the rest of the mascara on your lashes and that is it. Hope you enjoyed this look guys and if you would like to see more just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Are you baking your face? Yes! Uh, I love that you know that. I know. Eesh, come holla. Eesh, come holla. What? Wow.